All right, guys. Here we go. Playing Mass Effect for the 800th time in a row. Let's get started. This is my favorite game of all time. I live, breathe, and eat Mass Effect. This would be more fun if I were not by myself. If I had Eric with me. But, you know, I kind of am playing it with Eric. In a way, I'm watching him play it. You should probably check out Baka-chan. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's on YouTube. And you, you, you'll know when you see it. Maybe I'll link it in the bottom if he's released his video yet. If not, then you know what? I'll link it in the second one. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and play Mass Effect. And here we go. Three, two, one. Such a beautiful, beautiful game. My cats, of course. The instant I hit that, I, they were sleeping behind me. I had just now hit record, and now they're literally running around the house. Frankie likes to do this thing where she jumps up on the wall, like grabs it. I don't know what it is, but she loves doing it. But here we go. Beep. Oh shit, I didn't mean to hit resume. I want to start over. I want to start anew. God damn it. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. Close your eyes. Don't look at the screen. You don't want to know what this is. Exit. Yeah. Don't look at the screen. Close your eyes. Nothing's happening. And here we are at the start of- oh no, is my controller stopped working? Come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Oh, Come on. Come on! Okay, well, exit. <sighs> it takes up all of my CPU. Alright, let's try that again. This is gonna kill my laptop. Or not my laptop, my literal PC. It's got like 100 to 100 billion gigabytes on it. Origin's ruining it. Thanks, Microsoft. More like macro hard, am I right? Sorry if you hear me eating. I'm eating. I'm eating fruit and cream. Fucking good. Alright. I'm gonna do it right this time. Fucking cold though. Oh, my teeth. <laughs> oh god. Don't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so slow. No, that's not what I want. Come on, I can't run three software programs at once. Start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. They're gonna ask. Establishing ask for me. secure connection. Ask for my data. Secure connection confirmed. Beep. Please log in to access your profile. Let me type. Well, I guess I'm just fucking John Shepard. Then I tried to change it. <laughs> That was weird. Anyways. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct uh -oh. the profile. Uh-oh. service history. Spacer. Rope orphan. No, I'm born and raised in the north. Small border. I like this one. I just Confirm want to be in space. Psychological cool. profile. Soul survivor. War hero resist. I want to be soul survivor. Confirm military specialization. Sentinel or vanguard. I like being a sentinel. 
It's one of my favorites. All right, select a bonish talent. How many work? Confirm facial identification. Hmm. I always play normal, plain shepherd. I'm gonna change him up. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> I want normal shepherd. Like I want his face, but I just want to add something to it. Is there a way I can do that? <laughs> confirm facial identification. Yeah, I'll just confirm it. That's fine. Profile reconstruction complete. I like his movie face. Confirmed. Combat difficulty casual because and don't come at me being like you're not a real gamer girl. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a I don't give a shit. Opinions like that do not matter. I play the game how I want to play the game because I think that's fun. And hold on, I'm gonna eat bite. I'm here to enjoy myself. If I wanted it to be hard, I'd be like. Oh, I don't want it to be hard, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm gonna play on casual because I don't want to suffer. I want to sit here and enjoy Mass Effect. You're not a real gamer. I don't care. There's no such thing as a real or not real gamer. You just, if you want to play the game, play the game. I can play it on hard mode if I wanted to, and I'd be and I'd do do great. But right now, I just want to have fun. I don't have fun when it's suffer. Squad and player. Yep. No, I don't want auto level up. Sorry. I want to do that by myself. Level scaling, legendary mode, classic. Legendary, please. Squad power usage. Oh! Subtitles on, all the way. Auto save off, enable tutorials off. Alright, perfect. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting, protecting the, the galaxy? galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make, I'll the, make call. the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling the traveling to the furthest stars. The basis for the incredible technology was a force controlled by the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it. Let's <laughs> Oh, that's so shitty. Oh my god. No, it's been glitching this whole- This is not gonna be good if it's glitching this much. Can I really not record this? Is it really gonna be this bad? I really am gonna have to play a second playthrough to get movie-style footage on this. That's what I want. I want a regular playthrough of me talking, and then I want a playthrough that's like movie-style. Like, so people All that don't play video games or aren't interested can still enjoy the story. And I can cut out a lot of the gameplay and just leave a lot of the, the scene and stuff. Mainly because I want my dad to watch it. There he is. Gallantly standing. There we go. Big blue ball. Launch us. Getting the relay in three, two, one. Another strawberry for me. Blah blah, check, blah Thrusters, blah, check. Check, navigation, check, internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 cap. 1500 is good. Your, Your captain, captain will be, be pleased. pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember, remember to zip, zip your jumpsuit jump on the outside of the bathroom? bathroom? Sorry, I'll good. stop doing that. I just jumped us halfway across the <laughs> I played it so many times. Target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But 
only an idiot believes the official story. Yeah, that's kind of true. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Oh. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah. Sorry, I'm eating my strawberry. I'm eating the strawberries first and then the banana second because I like bananas more. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. You probably don't want to. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Anything I can click on? Scan? No? Let's see if I can run without no, lagging. Okay. Not bad. Just don't have to recapture that first scene, though. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. What were you saying? But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. <laughs> For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't Obvious. trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It's <gasps> in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact. You don't carry down racism. You stop us. it. Bastard. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Get over We're it. an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some... Nope, sorry. I'm not supposed to skip. <laughs> I grew up on Eden Prime Doc. Was I supposed to tell him not to... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways. <clears throat> I think I was supposed to tell him not to be racist or something. Something I can do for you, Commander? I have I questions. Curious oh, yeah. You, think. you and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. Sorry, eat another banana. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in yeah, general. Yeah, blah blah Runs blah. My family. My that grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends. Uh, We're in a I don't they don't come along just to observe shakedown. Frankie, stop that. Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't. Well, like okay. I'll see you well, I there's nothing else I can do. All right. Now we could talk to these guys. Fine. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. I don't... <sighs> I 
I want to get to, I want to just get to the action. You've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. All right. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. I guess I'll hold that to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't run around in circles or else I'm going to fucking freeze it. Ugh. Commander Shepard. God. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. How do I talk. keep this from lagging? This is terrible. Computer's getting hot, like God. This is ridiculous. Origin, fuck yourself. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond They say beautiful. it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. My cat's sitting next to this, looking at me. It was probably He's jumping on. Are you jumping? Are you going to jump in my chair? Or are you just going to sit there and milk and think? Protean. I thought the Protheans vanished fifty thousand years ago. Oh, what are you doing? Their legacy still remains. Are you doing the Watling again? The mass relays, the Citadel, yeah? our ship drives. Is it because mommy's not paying attention Protean to you? Technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward two hundred years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What? What's I'm going on, stupid. Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You ain't wrong, Not many fam. could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of My computer's gonna have trouble running this. I cannot imagine You'll be in charge playing Mass Effect 2 or 3. Here's it's gonna be any better. Onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to Let's just say I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. My cream. Get down. There's Ashley. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need.
I just farted. I don't know if they heard that. that. No comm traffic I, hope, at all. I hope the mic got it. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse How do you know? There wasn't a timestamp. It's the wall master. wall master. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot bum, bum, bum. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Mm -hmm. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I Understood, want radio Understood, Cappy. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Whee! We are approaching drop point two. Now let's jump from this hundred foot drop. All right. Let's take a look at you. Know what you have to say? Smells like smoke. I would only assume. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. It's very beautiful out there, though. All right, y'all. These particle effects are so beautiful. All right. Get a sprint. Got my pistol, boom. Look how cute. Gas bags. Don't worry. Her little noodle legs. Oh, She's got little noodle feet. And a couple too many eyes, but that's okay. The more the see, but the more eyes you have, the better you see. The better you see. Little feet. Look at him. Got little feet. All right. Uh, I'm gonna run. Get through this. I don't like that they drain the lake in this version. And the other one, it's like much higher. It's like up to my hips. Can I not get in here? Okay, there we go. Got that upgrade. It's different than the, res re the other one, but that's okay. This is legendary. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Those fucking plants, though. I just, I have to stop and look at the textures. If anybody doesn't know, here, I'll, I'll throw it up on screen, but... It, well, you know, do I really need to throw it up on screen? Anyways, long story short, I have an art degree in animation. Uh, for the first year, I was studying game art and switched over part of the way through so I could just finish in animation instead because learning how to do all this modeling stuff in anim like digital 3D, 3D animation was just a pain in the ass. It was just... Ugh. It was a lot like coding more than it was like art or drawing, I guess. It is art, but you know what I mean. It's less it's less like traditional art and it was something that my brain just I just can't fo I just could not focus and get it done. Um, so I figured Ooh, that's new. Um, animation two D was the best for me. And if anyone wants to know what it's like to have an art degree, I still work in retail, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. It takes some time. Jenkins! Pew, 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 pew. Don't hit the gas bags, please. Okay. All right, Leroy. Ripped right through his shields. Never had a chance. Oh, that lag. lag! We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, so slow. Don't do this to me. 
Frankie, what are you doing? Frankie. Crazy girl. Okay, it's actually just slowing down. I thought I was crouched or something. Our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. This is gonna go well. This is gonna go real well. <gasps> no! I don't want th <sighs> those little noodle legs. He died. He didn't do nothing wrong. Oh. I'm probably gonna have to, like, later in my life, when I get a non-laggy sit- like, way- if way to figure out- keep this from lagging, um, I can do another playthrough. I will always play Mass Effect. I think I'll play it, like, if I'm gonna die in, like, a, a week, I'm definitely gonna play through Mass Effect. It's one of the- I- I, I would love to- I'm, I'm being serious. Like, Mass Effect brings me a lot of joy. Yeah, I definitely want to experience a little bit before I die. But let's not talk about death. Let's shoot some geth. <laughs> Accidental rhyme. It's about time. Alright, let's get this crate. Fuck or not. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Yeah. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? Frankie, stop running. <laughs> a few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. Frankie, little girl. The He's others so weren't so lucky. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why there was an ice cream truck. There was an ice cream truck. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just One over that rise. Of us. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, Let's sir. go. It's time for payback. Move out. Let's get into the crate. Take the scorpion. Take Zeus. Do I? Is it New Game Plus? Can I do that in Legendary? Let's see. I've already played through. Uh, fuck. Squid. It looks like it, but I don't know. Let's see. My equipment. Doesn't look like I have anything. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the... Can I just skip this part? I'm gonna punch ya. I'm gonna just punch ya. It's not New Game Plus, I can't- I forgot I can't just run into open battle. They all wish ya cooch. Rockers in the house tonight. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. There's some good rocks. There's some good rocks. I do like these textures. They look good. Like, obviously they're not realistic, but obviously they're not realistic. The realism is not like realism does not automatically mean good or artistic, and realism isn't the only thing that you need to keep you immersed it's consistency and if it's consistent in design 
you don't need to worry about the realism. Because stylization is just Looks important, like if not hard. more, in my opinion. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. I have a degree. I have a degree. Oh god. It's like flash dance. <laughs> what did the Geth do to them? <sighs> oh, here we go. Wonder what's gonna happen when there's more on the screen. I just gonna skip. Y'all shoot him. I'm busy. Oh wait, I can't get in here right now, can I? Party rockers in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time, and we will make you lose your mind. You just wanna see that? Shake that. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, you have heralds a perfect of our hairline. extinction. You have a perfect we could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. But maybe Nihilus it wasn't was with nice. us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This is He's onto something, though. He's onto something, though. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his He's a good man. He attack. knows what he's talking about. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication. I'll have what he's having. Wow, wow, wow. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Running, running, run. Running, running, run. What are you doing, Frankie? Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help. That didn't sound job. like suspicious at all. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. I'm sure that sound was just a gleeful firework. The sun? Off in the distance. I don't know what you're talking about. The buildings? The trees? There's many of them. Oh, the clouds, perhaps. Couldn't possibly tell what you're talking about. Ash 
Ashley. I'm gonna shoot your neck. My gun sucks. I'll just let him run around. No! Gonna keep running, baby. My shields are gone, and I don't care. Cause if I click on him, it will carry the scene. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too! How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. You could I was just said that you were looking started. for tools or something. You didn't have to tell you them. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're I mean, it's lazy. probably a hard job. Let him nap, dude. It's probably a hard job. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Frankie, what are you doing, girl? She really is running in and it. out of this room. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. All right, team. Let's move out. Anything back here? Anything special? Perhaps an upgrade kit on fire. I'm just gonna skip it. See, I'll see if I can speed run just a little bit. Oh, get me in. And ion cell. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't think this through. Okay, throw ya. Boink. Nut shot, nut shot. Alright. Medical kit open. Shot, 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 shot. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody! Oh, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Alright. I sabotage you. Move. Bonk. Bonk. Activate terrain. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Sorry if you can hear me cracking my fingers. I just need to do it. Anyone else got a finger cracking addiction?
<laughs> Alright. How did I get lost for a second there? <laughs> Hurry, we have to disarm the charges! Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find the I like them how all. a lot of the textures in this game, they just made it shiny. I'm not gonna blame them, I like it. Shiny's good. I like the concrete. I love the super concrete designs in this game. The, the architecture is awesome. There's a lot of mix of brutalism and like, futuristic style. It's very 80s retro future, but with a mix of their own design. It's just, it's all, all around the world. Oh, did I skip it? Don't shoot me. Don't kill me. I'm busy. Y'all. Whoever's running in circles, please go take care of it. Bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Move your hexagon. I'm gonna go right off. Boink! Bye bye. Not shot, not shot, not shot. Always works. Let's get this snipper out of the way. I'm just gonna bonk ya. Thank you. Let's get that other charge. Alright, done with that. Let me go get the special stuff while my crew is fighting for me. Take a left. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. One hop this time. One hop this time. Chop chop. One bonk this time. Bow. One bonk this time. Bow. Chop chop. Turn around. I hate this gun. I need a better gun. It's open this crate. Got it. Running. Running, running, running. What's that concrete texture? It's so good. It's a little too shiny for my liking when you get it close. But from afar, it just looks like the light reflecting. Like, off of a matted uh, concrete surface when you get close. It's like a little shiny. Anyways. Ooh, I changed weapons on accident. That's not what I meant to do. Give me back that. I'm just trying to get into this. Bonk! Oh, I missed it. Y'all, just kill him. Thank you. That's how you know the battle's over when the music stops. Easy decryption. Let's look at the beeping. Oh yeah, I forgot to look out onto the, the lava yeah, earlier. That's okay. I'll do that in the, the movie mode. Normandy, movie the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Shepard! No, don't touch him! Too dangerous! Here comes Booby Lady. Here comes Booby Lady. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy. 
a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Whoa! I'm angry! Whoa! Facial animations are so much cleaner. I love it. Let's see the way his nose moved. And I like that they didn't just zoom in on her boobs. They, they were just like, she's also a person. That just so happens to have boobs. I like that. Doctor! Doctor Chakwas! Why think they put me on a hard-ass bed? Why not a mattress? Goddamn. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the night after a surely boy. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About fifteen hours. That's like how much Something I sleep in real life. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Like how much I sleep in real life. No, don't blame yourself. I must have triggered some kind of security don't field don't when yourself. I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no <laughs> way to know what would happen. <laughs> Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. You Gracias. and I carried you back here to the ship. Gracias. <laughs> I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak Ooh. with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty didn't hard. Didn't hit me. Are you sure you're okay? Hit me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Nah. Nah. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The nah, is just a little, a little dent. The council's little, going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully, the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report. How can he hear? You're a damned Where's hero. Where's the ear Alex? hole? That's Where's his nose it? holes? The like they're shadow, but it looks like you can see the texture truth. end up in there. Saren's a spectre, like one of the, the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Sarah's I mean, I'm dangerous. sure if you just tilted it aside back, you can see. He hates humans. Hates humans. What? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. What on we earth need are we going to say, though? To council, what on earth are we going to say, though? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. Bit of a stretch, but you're not wrong. This attack was an act of war. He has the seekers from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he oh, won't stop, stop until him. he's wiped humanity from the face of the oh, galaxy. 
I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. Sir, That's yes, why sir. We need the council on our side. Sir, yes, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. It's not logging, lagging or anything. This is a terror. Oh, it's so terrible. I hate it. My God. Hey. Hinkman, I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Bye. I need to go speak with Joker. I could Goodbye, speak with Commander. you, but I already know what you say. Well, time to go up okay, the stairs. <sighs> this lag is driving me insane, y'all. After I get onto the Citadel, I... Oh, can I talk to... Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Presley. Get on the Citadel, and then we'll call that episode one. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins is hard enough. For a super soldier, he gets pretty tired for running. Alright, take us in, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Here we are. Let's park the car. You're an outrage. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. I can't wait till we have, like, hard light like this. Investigating your charges against so cool. Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, yeah, and all of the I see CPU. you brought half your crew with you. Or half Just the CPU. I'm trying to make a funny joke. I'm not In good at this. Any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. He has they the same... Are. Udina has the Sounds same like haircut as the Manuel. Give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Saren's their top agent. They don't like him being. <coughs> oh God! Excuse me. Saren's a threat to every human colony out oh, there. God, he needs to be stopped. The council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The you mission on Eden dude. Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead, and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. 
Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate right, politicians. Racist bastard. I can't tell the aliens from the What a sweet boy. Sure is peaceful here. Well, they built themselves quite Probably. Awake. Wonder if Let's they hack. drowned in it. Let's do some hacking, baby. <laughs> oh, I should have read that. Well, if you can pause quick enough to read that. I mean in the other version, what do you call it? In my movie version. And I'll I'll make sure all that footage is in there. This is just my commentary version. Where you can see gameplay and all that good stuff. Maybe I'll go into picture mode real quick. Have some fun. Before I end this episode. Look at his butt. There's his butt. I'd like to try and see if I can break the fourth wall. I think I can go through the ceiling in here. At least go above. Let me see if I can go out and above. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. I love exploring the environments in this thing. I can make some cool shots with this though. Hmm, maybe I can look for like a thumbnail. Maybe I can look for like a thumbnail. Maybe I can get one from the I should have done that on Eden Prime anyways. Maybe I can get one from I should have done that on Eden Prime anyways. Looks good, it looks so good. So beautiful. All right. Ooh, what's under here? Let's see if I can see. Not there. Oh, did I go under the floor? I'm gonna do that instead. Let's see how far I can go. Yeah! Get under all those textures. You can see everything from under here. That's so cool. So beautiful. Wow. I can see Sneepard right there. Let's see if I can go through the floor. Nope, I'm stuck. Okay, well, let me get myself out of here. Alrighty, here we are. Alright. Seeing. And thank you for watching episode one. I know I didn't say much, but I don't know. I don't really, I didn't really have anything to say today. I'm a little tired, but yeah, I just want to play Mass Effect on this channel, so. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta. I'm gonna exit, and I'll see y'all later in another episode, baby.